perverted, rude, and worse, stupid. You're just awful. You should be ashamed. Enough already. You've been chewing me out for blocks. That's what I was greeted with when I looked up, so I took the opportunity to immortalize the moment. Oh, yeah? Well, I took the opportunity to kick your ass. You did delete the picture, didn't you? Probably. What do you mean by probably? <laughs> no. Forgive me. You have it all wrong, miss. I mean you no harm. I merely need a direction. No! I told you to keep away from me! <laughs> wow. I suppose we should expect to see more of this kind of stuff at a time like this. Being approached by a suspicious man with all these murders happening in town? I can't blame her. Hey! Are you alright? Whoa, hang on! Do you need some help? Uh, apologies. I'm okay. Now... You're really tall. Come on, get out of the man's way. Pardon me. Do you think you could tell me which way to go to get to the church? Hey, Father, do you know Rhea? She's a friend of ours from school who stays at the church. Yeah, but I haven't been here in almost a decade. The town's changed so much since then. I imagine she has too. I can't tell you how relieving it is to hear that dear Theresia has such good friends at school as the two of you kids. Out of all the upperclassmen, Himuro's always been the coolest to us. When we first met her, she told us just to call her Rhea, but I guess Theresia must be her real name? I think she's actually, what, a quarter Japanese? Indeed! And I was the one who named her. Oh, that's cool! So that means you're sort of like Rhea's dad, huh? <laughs> oh my, how very embarrassing! But yeah, I suppose it's accurate. I changed her diaper countless times and gave her best as well. And I also made a promise to do everything in my power to protect her. I do it all for the sake of love. <laughs> Theresia! Oh, my kleines Knudelbeer! Daddy Dearest has finally made his way back to you. <laughs> Creepy. Uh, it's time for you to hit the bricks. Or better yet, die. Oh, oh Theresia! When did your tender eyes grow as gold as a graveyard? No, I like them. So no look works. Okay. <laughs> what are we supposed to do with this weirdo? <clears throat> it's been a while since our last meeting, and so hard to believe the subtext of your speech has grown even more disturbing. So far, the Trifa, are you trying to get banished to the Mexican countryside again? Uh, <laughs> Risa? You two must be famished after dealing with the father's nonsense. As an apology, I'd love to whip up some food for you. <laughs>